This video was brought to you by a better planner, Ken Power, Marcus Biel, Stormberg, and Biel Componente. Okay, I fire up the live stream. Uh, might as well now that I have some time to uh, I have to kill some time. But uh, great news! If you look here, um, max discharge rate is slowly going up, and then here finally, normal remaining is slowly going up. It claims minus five point. Um, so we were quite below zero. The the battery was uh, discalibrated, uncalibrated. So it had to relearn the new bottom, which was uh, shallower than I thought. So this is going to be interesting for the degradation test because it should mean uh, a more <laughs> actually a more correct and actually lower kilowatt hour uh, number, and that means actually even more degradation than we thought. So um, yeah, now finally this one is going up. But uh, I don't dare to start driving now. I should stay here for, uh, I'm not sure, uh, long enough for, yeah. Oh, well, actually, what, what it should mean is that we should have now 400 watt hour we can use, but that is simply not enough. So quick math, if we're gonna drive from here over to supercharger, uh, four kilometers, if we drive a little bit slow, yeah, you see, we did manage to uh, average 144. So let's say, um, yeah, there's a bit of uphill also, yeah. Let's say, worst case 150 watt hour per kilometer then we need at least 600 watt hour well actually that's it uh, but okay maybe i should get around one kilowatt hour or 1.5 just to be 110 percent sure yeah so, but it is going up now so that's good um let me check by the way uh eco flow uh, we have some energy fortunately this is okay good for me is that uh, i charged both eco flows to 100 percent this one is at 67 percent this one is at 45%. I, I don't know why they are so unbalanced. They are not discharging at the same uh, level, but that should mean that we have uh, these two together. Okay, we have roughly two kilowatt hour left. So it already pull, I don't know, let's say at least one and a half kilowatt hour below, below zero or below the absolute zero or whatever. So yeah, uh, hopefully we have enough now. Otherwise I'll be in deep shit. Okay, great news. I got some tip from Cool Silver in a live stream. He told me that there's a manual release lever here. I actually never used it before. <laughs> Even though I, I used Melon Falcon a lot, you see here? You just, you just do this one. Oh, sorry, sorry. I pull this and now it could seem like I can open the front. I see there is a little gap there now. You see, is there like a secondary latch? I need to, wait, wait, well, how do I? It's half open now. Wait, how do I? Yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. There was a button you have to press. There, 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 there. you see. Um, you press this one, which is a secondary latch, or you pull it or something, I don't remember. Um, how you do this? To open it, oh shit. Let me see, you can see there is like a safety latch there. Oh, sorry, there. Um, but how did I do it again? Hallelujah, I have access to the cables. I have type 2 cable, wait, sorry. I have type 2 cable, I have CCS adapter, Chatham adapter, UMC. I'm gonna move all this shit to the back now and then close the front again. I don't know what the heck happened to the front suddenly. Like every problem that could occur suddenly just occur now at the same time, of course. Okay, if you see here, this is the manual re release button, whatever, for the trunk. So you're supposed to just pop this open and then there's a Velcro thing here that holds it. And then you see here, you have a cable, a wire you're supposed to pull. So I tried to pull this. But I'm not sure how hard I'm supposed to pull this. I feel like I'm gonna break the cable, the wire. So what there, you just put it back. We can just drive with the trunk open-ish and then hopefully get it fixed at the workshop. Put back the cover here. See, uh, no, this, this, like this, yeah. Okay, at least we try that one. Okay, this is it. The main EcoFlow battery is down to 1%, but uh, the, <laughs> like, what the heck, man? The secondary battery is still at 32%, so now it's outputting a lot from the secondary battery. Uh, this is really weird logic from the EcoFlow system, but okay. Uh, I think what I should do now is, uh, you see here, um, these numbers, uh, we should be able to trust them now. It seems like the BMS has been recalibrated. So it claims 40 kilowatt power limit. It sounds plausible. Once you go below zero, 
this is usually what you can expect uh, uh, in you know, like, then yeah i know from from experience when i draw uh, model x to zero when the dms was not messed up that usually yeah, when you have 40 kilowatt power limit you might have around 10 kilometers of range left which is plausible but then also here 1.3 kilowatt hour yeah i think you should be able to do use this one if we run out of juice again uh, on the way to cleavage then i'm fucked <laughs> But okay, what I should do either way is to discharge the EcoFlow. What? What happened by that? Okay, I should discharge the EcoFlow all the way until the slave battery is also dead. And then we go for it. Uh oh, charging stopped. Yeah, that's it. EcoFlows are dead. DED. Let me check here. We need to pack and leave, but they can't open the trunk, so I have to take everything via the side door. Trying, yeah, yeah, so. Okay, let me check here. Oh, they actually power off completely okay let's pack and leave and see we need to yolo it now shit okay let's see we have supposedly 42.6 kilowatt power limit 1.7 kilowatt hour left uh can we see cell voltage here battery bms 3.3 volt i don't know if you can see that I think it should be fine, right? The car should be able to start. And then we are uh, supposedly five, no, 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 we're not five, shit. Around four kilometers away. Okay, come on. Oh, it fires up. Trunk open, okay, that's fine. Okay, so first we need to do a little uh, turn here. Uh, so, I mean, it, it works for now. Just, the question is just how far can I drive before it dies again? So you see that we have a little bit over 40 kilowatt power limit there. And the beeping is just because the trunk is open. So we can't fix that right now. <sighs> okay. So now we just have to hope that the car doesn't die again. But I mean, think about this. We put in, let's say at least three kilowatt hour into the battery after losses. So it shouldn't just die now. Otherwise, I'm in deep shit. Come on, come on. Slow and steady now. Heater off. We have 307 people watching now as I go. Okay, I don't wanna... Okay, now it stopped bugging me about the trunk. <laughs> I actually remember this. In the old days when I did Nimber Task. Why is the car parked over there? When we did Nimber Task, there was one time I had to drive with the trunk not fully closed and it would stop bugging after a while. Okay, come on. We have 40 kilowatt power limit. Come on, come on, come on. Shit. Okay, so we go downhill now. So what I need to do is not have too high power output or, you know, not demand for too much. But this is the problem. You see, now I'm driving the opposite direction. I went uphill and I demanded some, some power, which probably caused some cells to drop below uh, a certain threshold. And then the car just said, I mean, the BMS said, okay, no, 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 you're not getting more, you know, we're shutting down. So you're here, I want to be careful. Uh, shit, I don't know. Shit, man. I don't know how much power I can pull here. Come on, you're not gonna die on me again, are you? Uh, just going all super slow now. Okay, fortunately, this this road here is not uh, that much trafficked. Uh, I don't dare to take to pull too much power in case the voltage drops too much. Um, everything seems normal here, except for that the freaking numbers are wacky again. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, shit, shit. So I just, um, I pull very little power, maybe just five, five, ten kilowatts to avoid too much voltage drop. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, you see, uh, when we go downhill, you can slowly build up some momentum. So at least for Tesla, it, they, yeah, they are like this. Uh, if you try to pull too much, that's probably why I <laughs> died with a trailer uh, also because I was trying to pull too much power going uphill. I'm trying to restart this guy my Tesla, but it's being buggy now. Shit. Come on. Go, 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 go. Okay, but at least now I see that the, the, the power limit doesn't drop that rapidly. So hopefully we can make it there. If not, then I have to try to charge up the... Uh, one plan B, if I die again, at least if the battery dies again, I have to try to get some juice from nearby here and charge up the EcoFlow 
and then come back here and try to sh charge it, I don't know. And then what the heck happened to scan my Tesla suddenly? Like everything that can go wrong today goes wrong. Everything unbelievable, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, 50 kilometers per hour now. Now there's a little uphill towards the end. I have to be careful. And also at the main road, there might be slightly more traffic. So I also have to be careful. See, okay, okay. I'll try to build up the momentum now, see. I want to know exact numbers, but uh, freaking, oh man, uh, it's got my Tesla just died, <laughs> or it's buggy. I'll try to bring it alive again, but I just have to focus now. You see, go 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 go. Okay, build up, build up speed, build up speed. Get up the hill here. Get the hill. Yeah, I'm using around five, five ten kilowatt only. Okay. Oh, oh, it's crawling, it's dropping a little bit. But you see, now it, this is how it should be. It should drop gently. Like slowly, slowly, slowly towards the end. Uh, what happened before was like, it went from 90 kilowatt to yeah. <laughs> Well, actually it didn't. It, that, that, the thing is that that line didn't even drop. It was showing around yeah, at the 80 mark roughly. And then the battery, uh, then the car dried, died and it was like car shutting down. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. It seems to be fine, right? As, as long as we can get over here, we are just one kilometer away now. I mean, it, shit, come on, you, you're not gonna die over here, are you? No, come on. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, Milena Falcon. This is the, this is the, the, the scary uphill. Shit. I'm pulling over 10 kilowatt now. Fortunately, I had no one behind me. Come on, come on, come on. I could pull over on this side because we have... Uh, uh, oh yeah, I wanna, uh, we have also a charger there, but okay, I just want to go for the supercharger, right? I feel like we can make it. I'm going to take this route here because it's slightly safer uh, in case the car would die here. And, and then I'll personally carry the eco flow over to the gas station or some shit, man. <laughs> oh, oh shit, I did. Oh. I need to stop and wait for traffic and yield. Oh man, we're almost there. Come on. What, what, what's up with this traffic suddenly? Okay, 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 come on. Gently now, gently. Gently. All right. Okay. Come on, come on. Even if it would die around here, I could probably roll over the supercharger. Supercharger right down there at cleavage. Oh man, so much heavy action going on at cleavage tonight. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I think I think we're safe. Where, where are we? Um, come on, come on. Man. Man. This must be the worst ending ever. Even the ES8 had a little bit of problem. I could crawl it here. Oh. Yeah, I think we I think we made it here. Oh shit. Let me find a my, uh, find an empty slot here somewhere. Okay, okay, okay. There, I see one. Is that, a, is that a legacy automaker plugged in the wrong? I was going to use this one. No, it's using the wrong stop. Oh, shit. Okay, but there, let, me, let me find a spot. Okay, okay. Here, here, here. Oh, shit. I made it here. I made it here. Oh, man. I'm not glad to see this one. Let's plug it in. Oh yeah, we're charging, getting 54 kilowatt. I don't care, that's still way better than two kilowatts <laughs> at the EcoFlow right now. Holy macaroni. Oh, shit, come on, come on, come on, let me see. Oh. And I can finally fire up the heater and, oh yeah, okay, I just noticed now. The consumption was 
149 watt hour per kilometer. It's a 4.5 kilometers. Okay, I know that from uh, for next time then. And it seems like uh, maybe the elevation at that spot I stranded at and over here they are similar. We went a little bit downhill and uphill again. Okay, yeah, it's still taking only 72 kilowatts. Um, maybe because I'm sharing charger with someone, I'm not sure. But uh, okay, whatever. Well, anyway, we're done with the test. So yes, we recovered, but you see, note yourself, I need to get, well, actually, first I was thinking about getting a 12 volt booster with the battery, but actually it's not necessary because I have a freaking huge uh, EcoFlow battery I will be bringing anyway when I do these tests. So what I need to do is buy those uh, chargers that connects to Shuko, uh, five amp charger and shit like that. Uh, we don't need that surge power that uh, those boosters usually offer. That's for spinning some start motor to start some fossil car they need 500 amp or 1000 amp surge power we just need 3 amp like 50 watt or some shit plug it into the 12 volt let it sit there for five minutes and then boom so yeah that was my mistake you know so we ended up like this we had to be rescued by uh the viking lady yeah <laughs> but all she needed to do i already popped out the, the um, uh, nose cone and everything so she just came there took out the cables, plug it in, done. You know, that's like the man's job, you know, just plug it in, yeah, done, yeah. It's funny, it's what ironic that um, it was a woman who saved a man stranded by the road. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, this is also um, a very important lesson. If you guys own a Tesla, or even if you own an old EV, I don't know, when I do, do this in zero mile test, I test fairly new cars, but once the battery ages, they might change the buffer. Many, many new cars I test, they have a zero buffer, but I should actually start testing old cars and see how they perform versus actually, it's even better if I retest an old car that I already tested before a while ago, right? And then we see, do we actually get the same kilowatt hour buffer below zero? That's actually some ways for some car manufacturers to hide degradation. So when some people say, oh, you know, we didn't lose any kilometer or after, after two years and, and 50,000 kilometers of driving, uh, the battery has not de degraded at all. That is, a, I mean, it's not a lie, but it's just an incorrect claim because everything degrades. People also degrades over time or after some use. So, um, yeah, but my advice to you guys is that if you have old cars don't trust that you can drive below zero uh, even teslas also you know people say ah you can drive 20 kilometers below zero no no you can't like here i drove five kilometers like 10 kilometers or not not even 10 kilometers below zero it's somewhat random um and then what what can you do can you uh, can you at least uh, deep discharge it and then charge it up again even that doesn't help because you know a couple of days ago i drove this car down to one percent i didn't dare to go that low right and then i actually charged it back again to well it stopped at 98.5 percent so i already did the whole deep discharge but it was apparently not enough you have to go the extreme you have to go until the car stops then the bms learns what the bottom is so yeah um i did this test and i wasted my time I wasted my time spend the time so you guys don't have to be stuck by the road so anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.